Well, hello there again, and I'm joined now with uh, Matt Squires, which is the uh, MAN Truck and Bus uh, UK Sales Director. Thank you very much for joining us today Pleased at Brands to meet Hatch. You. Pleased to meet you. Thank you for having us. And uh, thank you for coming along. Now, of course, uh, first time sponsors of the British Truck Racing Championship. We're absolutely thrilled to have you on board. What brought you along to uh, the championship this year? Truck racing's in our DNA and we are very mindful with a new launch of our strategy in the UK about our impact and sustainability and the way the British truck racing was going looking at what they can do to make racing cleaner more benefit for the environment the younger generation coming through we felt now was the time to get involved well, indeed, and of course, just to mention another one of our sponsors, uh, GBF, they actually are providing biodiesel to all of the race trucks yeah. this season. That's going to look great on paper and in general. Yeah, it's absolutely huge, and it just shows the importance and everybody taking responsibility to make truck racing. It's enthusiastic, it's exciting, it draws the crowds out, beautiful sunny day today, and it's absolutely brilliant to see but everyone's doing their bit and as a truck manufacturer our product is full HVO no impact on maintenance no impact on service life cycle and we felt now was the time with your partnership with a biofuel supplier and us now's the big time to get involved and really show what a partnership we can achieve together and that is fantastic and the sky's the limit moving forward let's just talk quickly about uh the engines then because of course anybody that might follow truck racing abroad uh, obviously in europe where man has been a huge part yeah. for so many years um a lot of the trucks dotted around the paddock have actually got the brand new rental man race yeah. engines tell us more about those so those engines are built by petrofitter who's a supplier to us and they represent the man engines it's a massively strong engine. It's been in the paddock for absolutely don donkey's years. I think everyone that's been involved in truck racing knows the MAN engine. And with the developments with the new technologies and making engines lighter, more powerful, it's still an absolute robust and a go-to product for, you see it on the grid. The front runners out there are running an MAN and it speaks for itself. It is, and just to mention to the guys at home, guys and girls at home, that just because a truck might not necessarily be having the MAN badge on the front of the cab, or even an MAN cab at all, doesn't necessarily mean it's not got an MAN engine inside it. To name a few, for example, Stuart Oliver, looking with his Volvo Bornos, has got an MAN engine in it. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely because we see it, and as much as the competition want to get involved, the, the, the racers, the teams, they all know you want a strong heart in something, you put an MEN engine in it. And mentioning that, of course, so the, the latest model, am I right in thinking, because I'm, I'm no technician, is it the D26 that they're running a lot at the yeah. moment? Yeah, D26. And of right. course, not to forget, though, that a lot of Division 2, uh, all the way up to, well, today, is still running the D28, the older model, that's still yeah. going strong. Well, it's, it's robust. It does what it says on the tin, and, you know, it's still... The parts are readily available and they're quite competitive so for somebody coming in at entry levels they can get a first class strong engine that's reliable and gets them into the sport and then as they get up and they want to spend more money then like any manufacturer we'll help them spend it and we'll give them the best product now looking at uh, man uh, the business as a whole especially in the uk we, we mentioned truck and bus now of course a lot of people are only used to seeing man lorries around on the highways tell us more about the bus side of that now so i'm responsible i'm head of bus sales uh, for the uk coach and bus um it's we've, we've got a lovely neoplan coach product the bus product is something that we're very strong in europe we're not so strong in the uk because of weight which has been a big problem but now we're going over to e-mobility and alternative fuels. We're really looking at bringing another product back into the UK. We're still in des design stage at the moment, but um, we see that as a great opportunity for us. And hopefully you won't just see trucks, loads of vans about. Everyone knows the MEM vans, some beautiful vans up here today for people to go and have a look at, but the bus product as well. It's truck and bus and van. 
Yeah, the MAM van is interesting you mentioned that because they are in, insanely great looking vans and they're very big, very robust. Uh, and, and really, to some people that say, oh, well, it looks like that kind of van, but it's the same van, but it's MAN. It's all about the aftermarket service and, and cover, isn't it, with that? Yeah, I think where we've done, Tracy, you know, she's done an amazing job with a team who's our head of van sales. Um, we're not just a, a white van manufacturer. We're really going into specialized markets and the markets where premium product is seen, quality, reliability, and by having a strong after-sales network that is a real commercial network because we've come from the trucks. Yeah. It's in our DNA. It's what customers want. They want to be able to drop a van off in the evening. It's worked over in, in, during the night, then they pick it up in the morning. It's a tool to go to work. It's not a, a nice-to-have luxury item although people do pimp them up and oh, they yes. do make them look absolutely <laughs> fantastic but it's a premium product in the in that like commercial vehicle sector no, that is fantastic and uh, just one more thing then talking about looking into the future and, and what you're bringing uh, uh, in the well, along uh, looking forward I was at the commercial vehicle show last year I believe and you had an all-electric uh, medium weight goods uh, delivery yeah. vehicle that you're looking to maybe roll out in places like London or low emission zone yes yeah, so we will have um, a, sort of 2024 I will have a complete demo fleet from um, 4x2 rigid up to 6x2 rigid and a 4x2 tractor coming next year and the ranges are absolutely amazing there. With a 45 minute charge, they'll do up to 600 to 800 kilometers, depending on the, um, <laughs> the, the routes and the payloads that they're on. But we're really excited because we've had um, electric vehicles and the one you were talking about, there's been a number of vehicles running in Austria for probably about seven, eight years now. Oh, wow. So we've really done the due diligence on the reliability. We're now ready to go to series production. So customers will keep your eyes open they'll be around um, and they're an amazing piece of kit really are well wow, that's fantastic to hear matt squires thank you so much for joining us and thank again you thank you on behalf of the championship right. and all the spectators for man support this year look forward to seeing you again soon thank fantastic you. matt squires man truck and bus uk sales director and of course championship sponsors for 2023